Since there isn't a lot of work to do on the Arctic Giant this week, I thought I'd instead give you a look at the different sources I'm using in putting together this project. There are a lot of sources out there for these movies. Um, I don't own all of them, but I think I own the good ones. Um, I don't think that uh, owning more of them would give us more than what we already have. So what I have here are uh, four different versions of these movies. The first is from the Internet Archive, archive.org. These are the lowest quality sources that I've found. I think they may have been sourced from the older laser discs, but I'm not sure. But you can see the colors kind of look washed out and the quality isn't that great. Uh, next I have Superman, the Ultimate Max Fleischer cartoon collection. This is from VCI Entertainment. This was released in 2006 around the time of Superman Returns. And the quality looks okay, it's sort of, you know, video quality uh, picture. But they're fairly complete copies of the movies. Next is Bosco Videos, the complete Superman collection, Diamond Anniversary Edition, the Paramount Cartoon Classics of Max and Dave Fleischer. This is, I would say, the most complete set of the movies you can get. The our movies all look good, the pictures are nice, the sound is very good. The colors don't look quite as good as the Warner Home Video Restoration, but I would arguably say this is the set to get um, as far as completeness goes. And then finally we have Warner Home Video's Max Fleischer Superman 1941-1942. to This set was also done in around 2006. Um, you can get it on um, the Blu-ray box sets that come with uh, a bunch of the, you know, this Christopher Reeve movie, uh, Superman's uh, sets. It also is available as a standalone DVD. The Blu-ray sets, as far as I understand, are on Blu-ray discs, but they're still standard definition quality. You'd better get back to your office, These have been recolored and they look really good. I will say throughout this, I am not second guessing the colors that Warner Home Video has used. A proper film restoration involves looking at original art sources and multiple prints. Um, I would assume they've done that, but um, the colors look good to my eyes and I'm not second guessing or going back and changing any colors. I'm using what they have. So I thought while I'm criticizing this box set a lot for making kind of mistakes with the intro and closing uh, segments, Often, um, I think I do want to point out how good it looks. The colors are nice and crisp, and it's a very good-looking set. So this is my main source for most of the movies. Most of the movies, I'm going to try to use this picture for what you see, and then I'm cross-referencing mostly with the Bosco video set and the other sources as needed for the completeness of them to see what parts Warner might have missed and patching in the audio where necessary and just kind of double-checking. Thanks for watching. I would recommend if you want to buy it on DVD, just go ahead and get the yellow Warner Home Video set, even though it's not completely um, accurate with every single cartoon. I think it's just still the nicest set you can get. Obviously, the idea would be that someone would put together the money and rescan these movies from the original negatives and some, from some prints that exist to get great HD quality copies of these movies out there. But until that, um, I am doing what I can to combine these DVDs and give you the mild-mannered edition. Enjoy!